Every artist is a storyteller, whether they are addressing social commentary or expressing a state of mind. My work tells stories of a young, vibrant me, the struggles and the disconnect I felt from the school system, inducing my audience to relieve my experience, some kind of a vicarious trail. I grew up in an environment with kids who could read, write, and manipulate English language, a constant reminder of my inability. Uh, this series is influenced by my inability, not with seeing figures or seeing letters through my eyes, but with understanding them through my brain. This makes time, the coding language, very slow and insufficient comprehension. I thought other kids who could read and write had superpowers. And those were the pains I endured as a child. My parents told me to, to put my mind in understanding how to solve maths and understanding how to read and write. I put my souls to understanding and it came out blank. There is a constant pressure on kids to come out with flying colors in their grades and anything short from this is considered to be nuisance, denying the kids of self-appreciation on other things they may be good at. My work beckons on children not being things to be molded, but people to be unfolded. In what I call saturated nostalgia, I use combination of charcoal, oil, acrylic, and markers as my medium to create this series. In retrospect, we heated our food with charcoal when I was a kid and we cooked with oil and also my teachers wrote, wrote on a whiteboard with um, black marker. So this all together like comes to still make me relive those experiences. There was a dark cloud that followed me as a child which was mathematics was a complete horror and the desire to escape this horror was undying. The school system was so choking and um, because I wasn't able to read and write, I was taken as, as though I was good for nothing. I used negative spaces in my work to express the disconnect I felt from school. And in the other hand, you have um, my brother who was smart, intelligent, brave and everything I needed to be to fit in neatly into the school environment. I admired him a lot and I really wanted to be him. That, and we are considerably the same age and um, I, I wonder the reason why he processed things more than I did and he was way more smart. I became interested in neurobiology and the nervous system and the brain development of a child and we are all we are all designed differently and wired differently and the brain development of a child is different from the other depending on how you are created. Intelligence back then was measured by the ability to read and write and I didn't fall into any of these categories and that made me feel less. We are all co-opted by the social mechanism that creates desirability, psychologically forcing us all to fit into a single picture, but we are born differently with different identities. Imagine giving a child a lantern to fight his own light while forcing the person to fit into a single file and if you don't behave like how every other person has done, you'll be taken as being users. But we all have different uniqueness and identity. We all have different experiences and genes and we can never have the same outcome. There are other things we could be good at and those things shouldn't be swept under the floor. You could repeatedly see these things repeat in my paintings. You could see the cry 
and the torment, the horrors of mathematics, figures, symbols, they keep flashing in, they keep flashing in. With an impeccable love from family, I um, created my own identity, but still wearing the cameos of yesterday away from the sight of my audience. And understanding that no matter how hard I try, I, I'm never going to be like my brother. I will always be that crazy, creative little child. But a moment will come in childhood where the door open and let the future in. And here we are.